Hello fellow pickers, how you doing today? I need to empty out my car, so I need to show you what I got at the curb this week. Um, a few things. I got these two vintage galvanized buckets, and sometimes I have trouble selling them, but I just cannot leave them behind. I have no idea why. I think I have like four more in the garage. But I might be selling at the flea market tomorrow, so I figured I'd give them a shot. I got this little lantern, but it turns out it doesn't work. I got this cute little plant stand, metal plant stand. I really happen to like that, so if I can't sell it, I'll keep that myself. But usually plant stands go very quickly. I got these two very heavy Fisher-Price batteries. Oh my gosh, they must weigh like 15 pounds a piece. So those I'll take to the scrapyard. I got the one... A uh, folding chair. I don't like to take one, but the blue ones I think are more popular than like the brown ones and whatnot that you see. And when I opened it up, it's in decent shape, so I took it. Um, I got this Dietz lantern, which are, oh, Monarch Dietz, whatever. And they're a dime a dozen, but I like them, and this one is very clean, so. Ten dollars it should go. I got this cool little cassette storage thing. And it's like you press a button and it shoots your tape out at you. So I think that's cute. Okay, here's a better shot of it. So I'll sell that on eBay. Got a few bits of brass. I got this oops, put that over there. I got this basket which is nice planter basket. I got this um, Tommy Bahama beach chair for me because I need a new one. And there it was. I got this Atari flashback thing, but it has no controllers in it. But um, I might keep that and then wait for the controllers to come along. You know how when you put it out into the curb universe, you usually find them. I got this, here, let me pull it out. I think before this part of the video, I'm gonna put in um, a clip of me picking at this huge pile. And unfortunately, there was not a lot. It was a huge pile, but not a lot to take. But this is a Ralph Lauren pillowcase with the teddy bears on it. And believe it or not, course once I wash it believe it or not this sells for $20 used by itself surprisingly these must be making a comeback on Amazon this is sealed and sealed ones on Amazon are going for $50 and the rank is pretty good so I don't know if they're finally becoming scarce that people want it. I have no idea. I got this little cute little women's garment design book. I think it was from that pile. Cute little pattern making. Look at that. How cute is that? So I figured that's a good... I like to have smalls at the flea market because women like the smalls, so. I got this teddy bear and I can't remember if it's worth anything or not. And I got that free nursing and guitar, guitar instruction books. And I did scan one of the nursing books at the, at the curb and it wasn't a bad rank. So I said, I'm just gonna take home the whole box. So we'll see how that goes. And again, another mop bucket, this time with the ringer attached. But like I said, they don't sell well, but I just can't leave it behind. They're too cute. So that's it. Just a brief little haul. Not much to miss anything under here. No. Not much to see, but good enough, you know, quality over quantity. And if I sell at the flea market tomorrow, I will put up a separate little video 
I don't expect a lot of money tomorrow, maybe $200 because I don't have anything huge. Um, but I have, you know, Christmas blow molds and, and, and such. So, um, we'll see. I really don't feel like going this week, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I really don't know what's going to happen, but, um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all picking and I hope you're all scoring good stuff at the curb. See you next time.